What is up guys, Red Lightning 18 here, and firstly, before I start the commentary, just leave a brief comment on um, how you guys are liking my new colour correction. I've tried to make them as good as possible, so you guys enjoy the video even more, so I can just get out much better quality than I already do. Let's just get into the commentary. This is my first official search and destroy gameplay on YouTube. I made a kill confirmed gameplay that didn't get out to everybody, so I just put it on private. It was a decent score, but I'll probably use that gameplay another time because my views have changed in the commentary that I made tremendously because that commentary was made on the first day the game was out. So obviously, after playing it for a while longer, my views have changed and I've managed to see some flaws. But it's still a good game. So let's just get into the positives firstly. I loved some of the guns. The P90 is one of my favourite SMGs. The PP9M is also another one. I'm also enjoying Kill Confirmed a lot. That's probably my favourite game type right now in Modern Warfare 3. Collecting the dog tags just adds a new element into the TDM, which makes it more enjoyable for everyone, but I haven't tried out Team Defender yet, that's another new game type, I've heard good things about it, but I haven't actually gone into it because I'm too busy playing Kill Confirms or Search. They've also added a lot of recoil onto the guns, so most of the guns need kick, and they've also added Sway, and if you guys don't know what Sway is, when you aim down sights, you can see your your red dot or your iron sights just moving about slightly, that's what Sway is. They've also added that back into the game, it was in COD 4, but it wasn't in Modern Warfare 2 or Black Ops, but there was recoil in Black Ops, so if you guys came from Black Ops and went straight into Modern Warfare 3, you should be able to burst fire like you did in Black Ops, just to manage the recoil a bit. Now, some of the things I don't like about the game so far are the maps and Search and Destroy. And that's surprising since my channel is only Search and Destroy, but the thing about Search and Destroy is they need bigger maps. These maps are far too small for Search and Destroy. The spawns are so close together, for, for example, Dome. In Dome, you spawn outside the building or inside the building, and if you spawn inside the building, as soon as you set foot outside that building, you're getting flashed from the get-go as soon as you spawn because the spawns are so close to each other as soon as you step foot out of that door you see the whole other team waiting for you right there there's no way you can implement strat onto that map I mean I tried to flank but it just doesn't work because the maps are so small there aren't any flank routes that you could take in search from the get-go because you face them head on head straight away so I can't really get around them properly this is one of my favorite maps village it's, it's decent it's a decent size so you actually have space to run around a bit so you can think of where you want to go instead of just hitting the team head on but hopefully they bring out some DLC with bigger maps because these maps are just far too small for search and destroy and um, tell me what you guys think if you play search and destroy how are you guys enjoying the maps for it so far other than the maps the, ma the gameplay is great it's gun on gun most of the time I hardly ever get killed from airport the support package is fantastic for guys that can't really build out streets because it helps the team out you always need one guy with support on the team so you can always have that advanced UAV and regular UAV up and the ballistic vest is also a nice addition because that is just a team player all the way through. Um, I'm lucky enough to have a guy in our party that runs with recon and the support package. So he's just a team player. That helps us out tremendously. The assault package is another good one. That's where you get all the deadly kill streaks. That's what you see me use right now. I'm using 357. So that's UAV, Predator Missile and Attack Helicopter. They made the Attack Helicopter way better than it was in the previous games. Because the Attack Helicopter just sucked. But I think they did that because there's no Harrier Strike in here anymore. Um, the Osprey gun I haven't been able to get into because I haven't unlocked it yet, I haven't even used it yet, but I've heard good things, I've seen gameplay of it, it's not as good as the Chopper Gunner in Modern Warfare 2, but it's decent, I'll, it's not worth the 17 kill streak to me because I just don't feel the need to get 17 gun kills and then use a chopper that everybody's hiding in buildings because the maps have so many buildings in them, that's another thing about the maps, but anyway I'm going on to the positives. Also, the specialist package I've tried out, it's, it's, it's a fun package, I don't use it too often because it isn't as powerful as I made out it was going to be. At one point I even said it was going to be Perk Warfare 3, but that doesn't seem to be true. Uh, that's what happens when you speculate about a game before it comes out. But, it's a good package, I've heard that it's a good way to get the Moab, if you guys don't know what the Moab is, it's 25 gun kills and it's kind of like a nuke but it doesn't end the game, it just kills the other team and makes the map all gloomy like a nuke just bombed the place. Your team doesn't die in this at all. It just kills the other team for one round and then they spawn again. Which is good because the game ending kill streak sucked. I didn't really like that. They've also nerfed the hell out of the explosives. I hardly die from explosive now. Whenever someone new to me, which is rare compared to Modern Warfare 2, I hardly ever die from it. It hits me, he gets a hit marker, I go red and then I run away. It gives me time to run. 
Which is a good thing because new twos are just terrible in Modern Warfare 2. But let's not talk about that, we're talking about Modern Warfare 3 here. And explosives are just about right, they got it perfect with the explosives. So, so to summarise, I'm enjoying Kill Confirmed, I'm enjoying the guns, I'm enjoying the kill streaks, I'm enjoying how they nerfed the grenades and all of that stuff, the explosives. Um, I'm enjoying the support package tremendously, uh, helps out everybody on the team. The two things that I don't like are the buildings on the maps, there's so many of them. And the actual maps themselves are far too small and the spawns are far too close to each other for Search and Destroy. Which is why I'm, I've been struggling in Search and Destroy. Now that I've unlocked Death Silence just now, hopefully I'll be able to uh, flank around because people are sound horroring me a lot. Maybe this will help me out a bit, let's just see. Um, this is a 10 and one gameplay, hope you guys enjoyed. Comment on the colour correction settings because I've made them so much better, I think anyway. Tell me what you guys think. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. That's me, Redline in 18, signing out.